Mr. Bigley. Hey there, guys and gals, it's Gerbeagley with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagley, and I'm starting a brand new series called Lily, Child of Geos. Now, this is a little uh, adventure RPG hybrid game. It's a little bit different than most of the games that I play on my channel. It's more family-friendly. Uh, it's sort of, like, simplistic and really, really fun, but it's something that I thought would be a nice balance to the fact that I have, like, Corpse Party, which is super dark and dank and dreary, and then we also have Honey Pop, which is a different way of being mature. Um, so, Lily is a very, very cute looking game. I know very little about it. I know that it used to be a mobile game, I believe for the iPhone, and they ported it over onto Steam, and it got very good reviews, so I'd love to try it out here for you guys. It's a very short game, so it's probably going to be a very short series, but I thought, why not start a new series to run parallel to those more mature games that I have going as well. So, you'll see here I have a continue file, but that's just because I was doing a quick sound test in the beginning. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, this game is very beautiful looking, especially due to the fact that it was a mobile port, and I can't wait to show this off a little bit here. Finally off that boat. Sweet, sweet land. And there's very little voice acting for some reason is what I was reading in the reviews. I'm not sure why, uh, because these days there's not much excuse for not doing voice acting, especially in a Steam port. But hey, it happens. I'm going to go ahead and do my own little bit of voice acting while we play. Wow, the elusive island of Geos. Take that, Professor. Alright. Be sure to check out the options menu to adjust resolution, input, and difficulty settings. Alright, so we have speed sandwich. Mmm, that sounds like a delicious sandwich. Uh, it's number one. Two is invisibility potion. Three is a flash bomb. WASD. E to interact. Pretty standard stuff here for the most part. Inventory is I or space bar. Alright, cool. Would you like to adjust the graphical settings now? Yeah, why not? All right, my settings have been adjusted. It doesn't look like anything changed much, but uh, although there is a little bit of lens flare now that I get, but look at this. This is actually gorgeous looking. Uh, the fact that this was over on the iPhone just shows how far mobile gaming's come. Now, I still don't really take mobile gaming very seriously, but this is beautiful. Oh, look at that booty. Yeah, that's kind of weird because I think she's like a young girl. But anyway, let's get going here. Um, oh, wow, the water effects are really, really nice, too. That is beautiful. This is a really rich-looking world. Uh, hello, sir. Hello. Ah, oh, she said it. Hello, strange being or construct in a very clever disguise. Cool, a talking fish thing. Information fish at your service. I am here to assist you on your adventure. He doesn't look like he's here to assist. He looks like he's here to gobble us up. Thanks, Information Fish. I'll look for you around Geos. Find me again, and I'll try to be the opposite of helpful. It's not very nice. Seems kind of mean. Like, really? It's, I mean, ignore those constructs on the beach. They're trying to build a boat to escape Geos. They won't get far. So he's like a grumpy gum. They will fail, and then there will be repercussions and tears. Definitely not the nicest talking fish I've met. <laughs> So, yeah, he's like the Oscar of the Grouch of the island, it seems like. But, wow, look at this freaking... Oh, my God, this is gorgeous to look at. Just everything's beautiful in this game. Hopefully the gameplay matches up as well. I mean, hopefully it's not just a bunch of beautiful graphics. Uh, but, like I said, there were some really good Steam reviews on this, so it'd be really nice to see if, uh, you know, the graphics and the gameplay are very, very tight. Hello. Oh, hello again. So I'm making new friends. This guy's just a plank of wood with, like, a face. He reminds me of uh, Plank from Ed, Ed, and Eddie, the cartoon from Cartoon Network. <laughs> Those guys are going to be... Oh, wait. Those guys are going to be in so much trouble. Oh? They should be playing video games instead of plotting the leave Geos. Yeah, exactly. Video games solve everything. All your problems go with video games. <laughs> uh, so is this, like, a commentary on the game itself? That we're playing a video game and they should be playing video games? Hey, Harvard, check this thing out. What the heck is it? Did it just come out of the ocean? I don't know. It's not wet. Maybe it come from the sky. Oh, they're kind of like dumb. That's why they're like come from the... It's so gross, Harvard. What wrong with its wood? I think it got wood rot. It looks squishy. Ugh, ugh. Well, you look... Stinky and soddy and yucky and poopy and woody, whatever. Blech. You puking, uh, you puking, donut? Dang it, you can't be sick today. We got a lot of chip work to do. 
<laughs> Hello. <laughs> She's like completely oblivious at the fact that they're insulting her. Like, you're so squishy and gross looking, you weird human. <laughs> oh, God, it's talking. Blurg. You some kind of sea beast? Um, no, I'm human. I'm sorry your friend is sick. You best go topside and see the mayor. Visitors don't come here much. Okay, thanks. Sorry again. Blurg, blurg. <laughs> oh, okay. So this, like... Man, I, I love the animation style. It kind of reminds me of, like, a Disney animated film. Like, not the Pixar ones so much, but maybe, like, the uh, the in-house Disney ones. The, the art style is very, very good looking. And it's just... Oh, wow. I mean, the controls are really simplistic so far, so it's nice and easy. Oh, wait. That's the way we came. Although, can we go this way, too? No, it looks like that's blocked off to us. But good lord, I like the music. It's nice and jaunty and cute. Yeah, it's like a it's like a DreamWorks or a Pixar movie. But uh, yeah, hopefully it uh, has a great story as well. I'm sure it does. It's it's very very neat. Click ladders, doors, and characters to interact. Okay, Surfside. Oh, oh, interesting. So we're just climbing the ladder. Oh god, a visitor. Oh, hey, you startled me a bit. These ruins are thought to be abandoned. <laughs> she always looks so happy when she's talking. This guy looks pretty creepy, though. You're thought to be mistaken, Meatling. I'm the mayor of these ruins. Is there something we can help you with? Oh, um, I'm collecting flowers for a school report. This island is something of a legend. I came all the way out to the legendary abandoned ruins island to get flowers for a school report? You are one diligent student, Lily. I gotta give you that. How cute. Uh-oh. There's like this sinister music going on. He's gotta be the bad guy. Keep your nose clean, and don't forget where you parked. Thank you, your, um, Marinus. Can I ask you a few questions? No. <laughs> okay, well. Oh, God. Oh, uh, well. See you later. <laughs> Find someone helpful in town. All right, cool. Can we go in here? The door seems to be locked from the other side. All right, we can toggle our mini map with M. All right, cool. That's uh, oh, just the mini map. There's no like full map in the game. What are these little things? Hi, oh, they're birds. They ran away from me. Hello. Oh, yeah, sure. We'll just go ahead and like blast your Kamehameha your door open, sir, with the thing. Let's also steal his chest first. Let's see what's in here. Oh, cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Birdhouse. Someone must have. Whoa. Okay. Someone must have made this in some sort of woodworking class. The nails are haphazard, the edges are crooked. It's kind of embarrassing, to be honest. Do you think people who were made of wood might be better at working with it? I don't know. That's kind of like... That would be like saying, Oh, man, there's that sculpture made out of human bones and flesh and muscle tissue, but it doesn't look very good. Maybe the humans who built it should have been better with that material. Like, because <laughs> they're made of it. All right, so we just stole this dude's stuff. Let's see what we got here. So... Oh, uh, we have an invisibility potion, and uh, that's that's all we can really look at, huh? Is there any way to open the the tre oh treasure? Cool. So we found treasure. Oh. So can we actually do anything with the birdhouse, or is that just a collectible? It also looked like we oh oh all of our friends knows everything about video games. We'll drop a dime on his friends at the drop of a hat. <laughs> Woodboard is his name. Oh, that's great. There's little puns in here. That makes me super happy. What? These guys' names are Biggs and Wedge? Just like Star Wars. That's awesome. There's Biggs Darklighter and Wedge Antilles from Star Wars if you're a giant Star Wars nerd like I am. That's very, very cool that that's a little nod to Star Wars. A bromance for the age of bromance. <laughs> for the ages, if you see Biggs, you see Wedge. Oh, that's wonderful. I love that. That's really, really cool. It's kind of like when Final Fantasy, the old Final Fantasy games used to always uh, sort of uh, have like a Wedge Antilles... Um, uh, nod in there. Information fish constructs or constructs say he gets most of his information from the general store. He's one of a few Geo's inhab Geo's inhabitants that's actually helpful. Although he does seem pretty damn grumpy, so I don't know how helpful he actually is. So uh, is there anything that this money does? What's this money does? The higher this stat, the longer you can stay on a s on a spirit when harvesting flowers. I don't know what that means. I guess we'll find out. But we have 509 monies. I just wanted to look at my inventory, get myself a little bit acquainted with the game. Let's talk to this guy quick. Hello! Alright. 
Hey, why you in house? Um, I'm an explorer. Okay, that makes sense. That, that's all it took. It's like, I'm totally not a thief. I'm an explorer. I'm just here to hang out. <laughs> you sure about explorer? You have credentials? Ah, good. See, he's following up with questions. Stay safe, kids. Always ask for credentials when someone says they're an explorer. Oh, yes, I'm bona fide. Okay, then. That's it. <laughs> hey, what means bona fide? That means I can walk into your house, I think. That's pretty damn sketchy, Lily. This is getting very weird. <laughs> Bell ringer, see that now. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, that's why he's got the big hammer. He's the ringer of the bell. Oh, hey, if you explore, you need to go meet Trainer. He know everything. Train explorers, too. Train er, Trainer live in red roof hut thing out on walkways. You go explore it now. Take credentials. Okay, thanks. All right, wonderful. Find the trainer in the red hut roof red roof hut good god that's hard to say for some reason well i'll do that um good thing i'm colorblind and i totally know what he's talking about i guess we'll just explore everything right kaboom shit open that up another chest to steal no one's around to to see me take this one though so <laughs> oh <laughs> they they have wooden toilets and then they have oh my gosh they have toilet paper and everything is there any wood poops any wood chips in there Jokes. All right, let's kick this chest open. Enough messing around. Enough messing about. Pruners. Oh. Oh man, that money noise is very, very hardcore. It's just like brim every time. And it looks like we got another potion as well. Listen, we should talk. There's a few things you should know about creatures made of sentient wood. They grow things, okay? It's not pretty, and it's not polite conversation. But these little snippers make life bearable for their owners. Oh my. <laughs> So is this like, I, I like that there's kind of like adult humor added into this a bit. It really is very, very much like um, like a Pixar or a Disney movie where there's just these little nods to the adults in the audience. Like this is something that obviously kids could play and uh, handle pretty well, but uh, they might miss some of those adult jokes. Unlike me, who's just breaking all the pottery. I'm like freaking Link in Zelda where I'm just like, yeah, that's pottery. Someone worked hard to build that. Break it. All right, so we... We've been to all these places down here. Let's go up and continue to explore. Now, there is supposedly an autosave feature in this game. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but I will figure it out. Uh, Mill, Okay, Mill Hill. I can't tell if that's red or not. I honestly can't, guys. I'm sorry. The color blindness really gets in the way a lot when I have color-based objectives in games. I really wish that there was, like, a colorblind setting for all games, but, you know, wishful thinking. Whatever. It's not going to break the game. Like I said, It's a seems like it's pretty easy for the most part. The door seems to be locked from the other side. Okay, well, see you later. Guess we're not using that one. Go over here to split wood, though. That could be a weird innuendo in this town made of wooden people. I don't see a keyhole anywhere. How am I supposed to open this door? Man, their doors are much, much bigger than Lily. She is very, very tiny. That's fine. That's fine. We'll figure it out. Where there's a will, there's a way. So that looks like that might be the red roof inn, or whatever it's called. Oh. You have a bunch of fruit there, I see. I would like some. Are the are the fruit made out of wood, too? That's kind of what it's looking like. Hello, Elder Wood Spirit. Whoa. Ha! Huh. Why, hello, Meat Girl. I'm actually a construct, not a spirit. Meat Girl. <laughs> Wonderful. It's nitpicky, but spirits wear masks and act like they own the place, because they do. Oh. They created me to cook, but some rapscallion just took my spices, so no customers for now. Hmm, if I find some spices, I'll bring them back by. Or, back by? Back by? Bring them back by. That's a very interesting sentence. But anyway. Sound good? That would be fantastic. I know they're in the area here. Maybe in one of these buildings. I'm such a scatterbrain. I'll keep an eye out. Thanks so much for your time, my cabbage-carrying friend. <laughs> Aw, cute nicknames already. Oh, say, honey, if you haven't met the trainer yet, you ought to hustle on over there. The trainer's down there in that hut thing with the red roof. Hi. Oh, thanks. All right. See you later. Find the trainer in the red roof. A still. Still with the same objective. You guys don't have to remind me every time. I understand, game. All right. So it looks like maybe he's down this way here. Oh, yeah. That's probably it. Are we going to keep meeting people, though? Hello, gardener fellow. Good God. You look a little bit 
Dopey dopey. I'm not meaning to judge or anything like that, but first I'm going to go rob your house. <laughs> Break your pottery. He's going to come back in. He's going to be like, ah, yes, time to hang out with my pottery. My favorite pottery in chest. Oh, what the heck? Hey, I bet that's the spice... Er Hey, I bet that's the spice box that Skillet was looking for. How do we know her name's Skillet? She didn't introduce herself as Skillet, did she? Eh, whatever. I should swing by and talk with her after I grab it. Okay, sure. Open chests to retrieve lore items. Whoa, 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 whoa. Spice box. Oh, okay, so each item's probably going to have an owner at some point that we can give for, like, side quests. This is a box of spices that Skillet Lady use, uses to make tasty soup. Wow, reading is hard for me. It's so tasty, people are known to get addicted to it. Seriously, it's awesome. Her soup draws people from around the world. You never know who might show up if she makes soup with these spices. So apparently soup and spices are just, you know, it's street slang for drugs, guys. Look out. If someone offers you a steaming bowl of soup full of spices, you know what's up. You can sell that on the market for primo price, though. So it's okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, we rob that guy. He's the one who stole it. Actually, let's give that back to Skillet now and see what happens. Maybe we'll get some cool uh, cool stuff. I have your spices. Oh my, I can open for business again. I'm all in a tizzy. I'm glad I could help, kind construct. However, could I thank you? Perhaps with some tasty paleo-friendly egg drop gazpacho. <laughs> um, hey, would you look at the time? I need to run. Maybe later then. Good luck with your fancy schooling. <laughs> oh, funny. That is funny. All right, now we can go in and rob her as well. Oh, you're keeping a dead guy in here. What the heck? How am I supposed to trust her now? He's like, oh, I have no legs. <laughs> Help me. Oh, they're all just customers. I see now. Okay, so can we talk to all of them? These guys seem to be patiently waiting for the bowls to be refilled. I'll just leave them alone. Pa that's patiently waiting? It looks like they're on cocaine. Like I told you guys, it's drugs. I knew it. Let's kick this chest open, though. <laughs> Utensils. These are not biodegradable. We apologize for not being as green as we could be on the island of Geos. Unfortunately, we like hot beverages, and we don't like bendy spoons. <laughs> uh, fun. What's it, what about you, dude? Are you going through withdrawal? He's got to be. This guy seems to be in some sort of soup-induced daze. I knew it! See, this guy is drugged out of his mind. Oh my god, I know the secrets of Skillet now. She's an evil drug peddler. All right, see you later, Skillet. Actually, I want to talk to you again, see if... Mmm, I love making soup. Soup, soups. Oh my god, see, she's she's possessed. <laughs> that That's the exact reaction I would have had as well, Lily. All right, let's go down to this hut thing and uh, see what's going on here. Hey, what's up, buddy? Are you trainer? Nice tie. I'm super late for an interview. I have no clue where I'm supposed to be. Whoa. Why did the screen flash like that? That got all crazy and creepy for a second. How about you? Are you trainer? Sir. Wait, sir. Ah! The tenacity of your argument is compelling. Oh, what? What argument? I wasn't arguing with anyone, you weirdo. All right, well, let's go in here quick. Let's see if there's anything else we can break and steal. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe Skillet, though, running that racket. How insane. At some point, a baby spirit starts growing teeth. This durable teak chew ring is just the thing to shut baby up. <laughs> oh, yes. Shut up all of your babies, everybody. All right, guys. Actually, I think we're running about low on time here, so we will save the red roof hut for next time. But I did want to do some fun exploring there, show you guys this new game. I hope that you enjoyed the first episode. I definitely had fun with it. It's very unique. It's just sort of like a fun little explorey adventure type game. I have a feeling that things will get more sinister as the game goes on, but still maintain that sort of family-friendly feel to it. I really, really like it. It's very gorgeous, and it's, it's honestly, even though it's really simple, it's a lot of fun. So if you guys enjoyed it as well, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have thank you so much for all of your support you guys are the best in the world i love every single one of you and as always it was great seeing ya Bye bye biggest fish in the pond essentially but to get to there we have to continue to eat other little dots and other bigger dots like this guy the, the, ah god god look at all the fucks that are being given Oh my gosh, I just ate a whole bunch of them. Thank you for all the fucks that were given.